Hi, this is Dr. Tom King at Doan College, and this is a student orientation to Blackboard. So, to get into your Blackboard uh, sites, go to bb2.doan.edu, or you could probably access Blackboard from the Doan College website. Then click on a course that you are enrolled in, and so I'm going to take you into one of my courses and show you how to navigate Blackboard. Okay, here is a uh, typical Blackboard site, classroom site. Uh, in this case, it's my classroom management site. A couple things I want to show you is that uh, the area over here to the left is the menu for the different items on Blackboard. And you'll notice one of the first menus that we see on this screen is the announcements area. These are announcements that faculty can send to you, reminding you of all kinds of things. And when a faculty uh, inserts an announcement, it will remain on the page until the faculty removes it but it will also be emailed to the students. So you may uh, get an email indicating that there's an announcement for a particular class, uh, and then you can go to the Blackboard site and see that announcement. So that's in the announcements area. The next thing that you'll see is the instructor information. Okay, this is the way that if an instructor can share information about who they are, uh, give you information about how to contact them by email, phone number, location for their office, any other information that's pertinent that the faculty wants to share will show up in the contacts area as indicated by instructor. The next area uh, that you will find is course information. This is just general information about the course and in this case you see that I put information about the textbooks I require for this course. I have in this case a little welcome video that some faculty may or may not use. I also have some v uh, videos on how to do certain things like how to submit an assignment which I'm going to demonstrate in just a moment. Here are course dates. Uh, I do put a copy of the syllabi, uh, incomplete policy, all kinds of information about the course that you may find important to look at. Then the next area you go to is the assignments area. This will be the faculty's uh, area for them to submit assignments and faculty may do this in a lot of different ways. As you notice I create folders and then place uh, assignments uh, in folders. So in this case I have a folder so when you see a folder don't click on the folder click on the words here to the right of it and there you'll find images and icons and files and all kinds of things that you can look at. I'm going to go back to here. And so, for instance, if I go to Assignment 1 folder, here is an assignment pertaining to different things. Notice this is an icon for a uh, discussion board. So to activate that, you click on the words here, and it will take you to a discussion board segment. And as you can see, I have discussion boards here that uh, I'm utilizing in this course. I go backwards. Uh, these are items. In this case, I use it to, to explain information. Uh, this is the icon for an assignment. So if you click on the word goals, what you'll see is an explanation of what the assignment is. It shows you if there are any points associated with it. You'll notice in this case you have two ways to submit it. You click on write submission and it gives you the ability to type your submission right there. Some faculty may want you to, and I'll click back into this, some faculty may want you to attach a file, and by clicking Browse My Computer, you can then find that file and then attach it. My suggestion to all faculty and staff and students is to save all your files in a PDF format so that it's easily read and stored in Blackboard. You can then add additional comments if you want, and then the key is to submit it so that the faculty gets it. Once the assignment is submitted, it goes into Blackboard, and if there are any points assigned to it, then it will show up in the gradebook area, which I'll show you in another activity. Okay, in some cases, there are all kinds of other icons and links over here on the pages you can check out on your own. You have the ability to find emails. Uh, this is where the student area for gradebook is. If I click on it, since I'm in my site, I don't have access to that. Uh, from this view, but if you click on that as a student, this will take you to my to your my grades area. Okay, I will place some other items for Blackboard, but this kind of gives you an overview of Blackboard. 
you can always ask your faculty how they plan to use it, if there are any particular questions, or if you want more information about Blackboard, contact me, Dr. Tom King, Doan College. My number is 402-826-8206, or you can come over to the Communications Building and see me in CM 188. Thank you.